For at TV, the world is thinking. When people, if you look at Bill Bow, the general consensus, when people I talk to them, they assume it was a very expensive building compared to a rectilinear building at, uh, of the same program. In 97, the building was built for $300 a square foot. Pretty cheap. Uh, at the same time, I, or shortly after, I think, I did a building in Berlin that was all rectilinear at freezer plots, which you've seen. And it's elegantly detailed and it cost $600 a square foot. So I think what happens is that, that I don't fuss the details. I sort of go with the flow on what the construction is. I mean, I do bring my cheapskate architecture experience into, into play there. I don't... Uh, I let the forms be the thing. And, and, uh, and the reason to do it, the reason to do those kind of forms is, in my mind, was to replace decoration, to get passion and feeling into the building without resorting to 19th century uh, models. And I thought about movement because certainly we live in an age of movement. And my precedents for movement go back to Phidias in, at the Parthenon, who was able to convey a sense of movement with the uh, shields of the warriors pushing into the stone. When you see that, that at the British Museum, you feel the pressure, and it, it, it's, it's an amazing thing that he was able to do. And then the, the Shiva, the dancing figures, which you know, um, you, you look at them and you look back and you're sure they moved, right? And so that was my inspiration. And I thought, can we do it in our, at, at this big scale? And, and that's what the exploration was. And, and there are some fish stories that go along with it in my, <laughs> that um, when the postmodern stuff happened, when, the, when my colleagues started going back to Greek, uh, Greek temples, I thought to, I got pissed off and I said, if you're going to go back, why don't you go back uh, 300 million years before man to fish? And I started drawing fish, and, and then it started to have a life of its own, and, and uh, it became fish lamps and other things that were byproducts. But I started looking at the fish drawings by Hiroshiga, and I started looking, look, watching the carp and, and the koi fish in the ponds, and they're very architectural, and I started to explore those shapes and I made a, a terrible one for a 35-foot-long wooden fish for a fashion company at the Pitti Palace in, in Florence. And it was very, very kitsch. I mean, really, super kitsch. And, but it had that sense of movement. I looked at it, I, and everybody got it. And and then I tried to cut off the tail, cut off the head, cut off the fins, start to abstract it and see how far I could go before I lost it. And I did a room for uh, the Walker Art Museum for a show. And then I did a thing for Jay Chiat. And from that, I learned to uh, build with those kind of forms and capture that kind of feeling. And so that was the, the evolution.